Please like and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. I met uh, Jim Tro probably at the point in time that he donated two things to the museum. One was the first transistor radio from the uh, uh, Bell Labs uh, area, and the other one was the first uh, cellular telephone from the uh, Chicago trials of 1977. So let's, uh, let's begin. His first uh, donation was the uh, first transistor radio. But that's not the interesting part of it, the radio. It's how he obtained it. So let's go back to Jim Tro and his first uh, employment with uh, Western Electric uh, in New Jersey at Bell Labs, uh, the same area where the transistor was uh, developed. So very early, very early, it could have been days, it could have been weeks, it might have been a month, but probably not much more in his uh, employment uh, at Bell Labs, that he came in one day, uh, just a typical day, and there all over the lab were dumpsters and junk containers, and they were having a clean-up day. And so he walked by this one dumpster, and right on top of the dumpster, ready to be crunched and pulled away, was this what looked like a transistor radio. And so he, just curious, he just reached over and pulled it out of the top of the, uh, the dumpster. And he noticed it had no markings on it. So it wasn't a, an RCA or a Felco or a, uh, some name brand, obviously a portable radio of that, uh, of that era. So he, uh, he opened it up and took a, uh, took a look at it. And much to his surprise, it didn't look like any radio he was aware of because it didn't have any tubes in it. Uh, but anyways, he was busy, didn't have time to look at it. Uh, but he did keep it. He took it, which was a favorite thing to do during dumpster diving days of that uh, era. So he took it home eventually and uh, uh, again didn't have time to look at it very thoroughly. And he just put it in the attic and it stayed there probably 20 years or more. Okay, so the end, we'll come back to that. Now Jim is having a good career at uh, uh, Western Electric. He uh, had quite a few jobs uh, in uh, development area, uh, testing, contracts, etc., etc. So his last effort in uh, Bell Labs was working with a cellular telephone. And uh, we, just very briefly, we know the history of that, that Bell Lab developed uh, uh, the process, the ideas for uh, having a cellular telephone uh, system. Uh, they couldn't get much backing from local companies and what have you, but they did find uh, Oki Electronics in Japan who built the electronics uh, for them. And it was Jim's Tro's job then to uh, take what Western Electric developed and put it out in the field and test it. Just use it. Have people drive cars around and just use the system. So that's what he did. That was his job. Uh, to get all the radios installed in uh, vehicles and then he would uh, send people out and they would just talk over this cell phone, keep track of how well it worked, etc., etc. So the uh, uh, task was finally done. They had a lot of good data. They were very satisfied with the, the results. And the decision was, yeah, let's go ahead uh, with this cellular telephone uh, project. And very often, as was the case in the first transistor radio, but we'll get back to that, as often is the case in uh, developmental work, uh, these 40-some-odd radios they had out in the field that Jim Tro was in charge of testing, uh, they had no use for these anymore. They would never be used as they were, uh, so the orders were take them out of the cars, throw them away. So Jim Tro had his people together, 
he's in the, I'm thinking of an office environment or, or something, and he's instructing his people. He said, take all the radios out, uh, put the cars back to the best original shape as you can, take the radios, destroy them, and then trash them. And as the story goes, he got about four or five feet away from his people, and he turned around and said, but save me serial number one. And they did. So they took serial number one, and Jim came back uh, one day, and there it was, sitting on his desk, uh, serial number 0001 of the uh, test uh, radio was from that uh, very first uh, uh, activity with with cellular telephone. And that's the one uh, we have out in our AWA collection uh, right now. But it didn't get there immediately. So in getting ready for retirement, he was kind of looking over his collection of stuff, and he got these two items. He says, here's the radio, the portable radio I took out of the dumpster at Bell Labs. I ought to find out more about that. So again, toward the last employment day at Bell Labs, he took his radio, and he took it into the lab, and he started asking people, anybody know what this is? An old portable radio. Everybody got that, old portable radio. But somebody in the lab did recognize it. He said, Jim Tro, that's the first transistorized radio. So uh, that's, that's a pretty interesting radio. Don't throw that away. So he didn't. At this time, Jim Tro had been a member of AWA for quite a number of years, uh, but wasn't known for having a collection or anything. He was just a good, interested member of what the AWA does. So he said, well, I'll contact the AWA and see if they want that. And then he said, well, as long as I'm contacting AWA, I ought to find out if they want the, uh, the cellular telephone as well. Well, of course, the answer was yes and yes. <laughs> we very much wanted to do that. Uh, I was a curator of the museum at that time. Uh, so at, uh, we made arrangements. I had friends, so Lou had friends in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. And that's not too far jaunt down to where Jim lived in, uh, in New Jersey. So I made arrangements to... Uh, uh, go over and visit Jim and pick up the uh, the items. In fact, you'll find, I don't know which one it is, but there's a front cover of an OTB with uh, Jim Tro on the front cover holding the world's first transistor radio. Uh, so anyways, we, that's how we got the world's first transistor radio and the world's first uh, little plane, uh, serial number 001, uh, cellular telephone. Uh, so we're very had, glad to have those in the uh, in the collection. And just think, here's a guy, he just walked in and work one morning, and sitting there, he just went like this. He got the world's first transistor radio. And on his one of his last days at work, he remembered to say to his workers, but save me, serial number one. And that's how we have those two wonderful pieces in the uh, collection today. Please like and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.